What's up, DRT community? Let's help each other. Listen, this is a really cool one today. This one's a little bit different. Yes, my channel is all about testosterone replacement therapy, but something really cool happened recently, and I wanted to tell you guys about it. Plus, you guys know I'm into the guns and things like that, and this was just amazing. I was over at my parents' house the other day, and my dad is a past uh, marksman. He used to shoot in rifle competitions and uh, won a lot of trophies and things like that. He also used to hunt, and so he's got a lot of guns, a whole lot, mostly rifles. And so I was over there visiting the other day, and there's this one gun that he's got. He just never gets it out. He bought it long ago, and it was just sort of his baby. You know how there's certain guys that they'll buy like a classic car? and they just keep it in the garage and they don't ever get it out. They just kind of polish it occasionally and look at it, maybe drive it uh, every so often. Well, that's kind of how my dad was about this one gun he had. I've probably seen it about maybe three times my entire life. And so I get there and we're talking and he gets this gun out and we're looking at it, going over some of the history and things like that. And then guess what? I'm about to leave and there's a bookshelf that I've been needing to take from their house to my house because he wanted to give it to me. And I said, hey, I'm in the small car today that bookshelf won't fit in the car, but I can come get it some other time. He said, no, no problem, I'll bring it to you one day. Don't worry about it. And then he picks up the gun and hands it to me. And he says, will this fit in your car? And I said, what, are you, what do you mean? What are you saying? And he said, why don't you take it home with you? And I looked at him and I said, what are you, are you saying like, you, are you giving it to me? And he said, yeah, why don't you just take it home? <sighs> oh my goodness. The reason why this is such a big deal is because look what gun he gave me. Look at this. This is an H and K 94. Okay, you've probably heard of the H&K MP5. This is the civilianized version of the MP5. It's called the H&K 94. It's got a longer barrel, as you see there. It's got a shroud on it right now but it was the civilianized version of the MP5 that Heckler and Koch, that's how you pronounce it in German, was able to ship over to the States because they could not legally ship over the MP5. So they had to make this longer barreled version. It's got a 16 inch barrel, I believe is what it is, which makes it kind of deemed like a rifle. And so they were able to ship these over to the States between 1983 and 1989 and they shipped over roughly 16,000 of them. And then guess what? That's it. No more. So that's all. And my dad bought one back in 1985. Look at the paperwork here. You even see right there on there, 1985 is when he bought it. And uh, he, just, he just gave it to me. Um, I started tearing up actually because it was a pretty big deal. Uh, my mom took a picture of us hugging. There's that right there. And so, uh, wow. So let's talk a little bit more about also what came in the box. Look what also came in the box. Um, this is a really old 1985 9mm ammunition that came with it. You're going to get to see a video of me shooting that in just a second. Um, it came with two 30 round magazines. It came with a 15 round magazine as well. It came with this magazine loader and it also came with this cool thing. I'll show you how it works in just a second. It unloads your magazine. This will hold your two magazines together. Came with a, um, a gun cleaning kit, a strap. Then also this is cool. My dad kept this in here. My grandfather brought this gun cleaning kit back from uh, World War II. That's kind of neat. The original pamphlet here is pretty cool. Just tells all about the gun. Lots of pictures. That's good, you know. They need to put a lot of pictures in it because they knew men would be reading this. So we need pictures. I think this is cool because it shows where they fired the five bullets through it before they shipped it out. But the stamp, look at the stamp right there. Do you see that? Four Mars 1985. That's German. So this just goes to show you that this was definitely 100% imported from Germany and the first shots were fired from it out of Germany. Check this out. I've got a 15 round magazine right here and the loader assist, you slide that right on top. 
And watch how this works. It's really cool. I've never seen one like this before. You just drop a bullet in, and click it down. Isn't that cool? And then check out this thing that shows how you unload it. I've never seen one like this either. This is what it looks like. Got that little swivel thing that goes back and forth in there. You drop it on the top. It's not really easy to get it to work, but once you do get it to work, you just move this thing back and forth and it just spits all the bullets out. <laughs> that wasn't very graceful, but that's how it works. You guys want to see me shoot it? You guys want to see us shoot it? Took my family to uh, a friend of mine's land the other day and we got to shoot this gun. Not only did I get to shoot it, but the children did as well. It was awesome. And the bullets I'm actually shooting out of it are from 1985 as well. They've been kept in a cool dry place, so I think everything should be fine. But this will be the first time of me ever shooting this gun. That was my dad's, and so it's pretty special to me. And so here we go. All right. Of course, you have to load one in the chamber like this. That's the only way. All right. So cool. It actually now from the hip. Loud. No, it's not. See if I can actually hit it. Put it on there, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there we go. Oh man, you've got to shoot this. Shooting it from the hip was way more fun. Push that down with your thumb, and so there you go. Whenever you're ready, it is ready to go. You just want to hold it at your side then and shoot it? Like a gangster? Yeah. All right, pull the trigger. That's awesome. <laughs> oh man, that was awesome. awesome. Good job, buddy. So some other facts about this gun. My dad, when I asked him about it, um, he said he's put probably less than 30 rounds through this gun. So guys, this is a 35 year old gun that hardly ever came out of the case. Less than 30 rounds. I mean, it's almost like kind of like a barn find, but imagine if you found a car in a barn that had less than 30 miles on it. It's kind of like that. <laughs> it's just, wow, it's a really, I was just so touched when he gave it to me, just so touched. And I'm, I mean, who wouldn't love to put one of the rounds in the chamber by doing this? I mean, isn't that cool? How it differs from an MP5 uh, one way is that the mag release on an MP5 is actually right here. The mag release on uh, the 94 is right there. You press it there. It's got a few other, th other things that make it a little bit different from an MP5. But one of the most notable things, of course, that makes it different from the MP5 is the um, this long barrel. <laughs> Look at this barrel. Without the, without the shroud on it, it kind of looks almost a little goofy without the shroud on it. But you put the shroud on it, it makes it look a little cooler, I think. What do you think about this, guys? Can I get a like for that? I mean, seriously, look at this thing. It is just a bad mamma jamma from the 80s. So here's my dad. 
You're the one who gave me the gun? That's terrible. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome, son. <laughs> I love you. I love you, son. <laughs> Bill Ezel, everyone. All right, guys, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. And listen, if you have not subscribed yet, if you're not a normal subscriber and this is your first time to even see the channel, this channel is all about testosterone replacement therapy. We've been diagnosed with a problem by our doctor. We're not using this illegally or for any sort of muscle gains. We're trying to get back to normality in life. And part of our normal life for me is, of course, enjoying my family, doing things with my family that I love, like shooting guns and so thank you guys for watching god bless peace so she get all embarrassed and then get all embarrassed because she thinks i'm not gonna put this on youtube <laughs> You're not. what about you <laughs> i'm sleepy <laughs> what's up trc community so i want to share this with you guys I'm filming for the first time in the kitchen, and guess what? The wife and five children. It's loud in this house. It is very rarely quiet enough to film a video. <laughs>